In this video, we're going to cover key things that you need to know about something called a hydrocele. This is a collection of fluid in the scrotum, which is the bag of skin holding your testicles. Now, most hydrocele's develop for no apparent reason, they're harmless and they can be left alone. But if it's needed, a small operation can readily cure the problem. In this video, we're going to focus on hydrocele's in adults and we'll cover causes, symptoms, tests, treatment options, and when you should see a doctor about a lump on the testicle. So first of all, before we go into what a hydrocele is, it's worth just spending a brief moment discussing what is considered to be normal. Well, the scrotum is normally loose, soft and fleshy, and it holds two testicles which I'm highlighting on screen here. Usually you can easily feel your testes in the scrotum. Now a tube which is called the vas deferens, which you can see here, takes sperm from each testicle to the penis. So now we know what the normal anatomy looks like, let's discuss what a hydrocele is. So a hydrocele is essentially a collection of fluid in the sac in your scrotum next to a testicle. It usually occurs on one side, but sometimes a hydrocele can form over both testicles. Now the normal testes is surrounded by a smooth, protective tissue sac which you can't normally feel. It makes a small amount of lubricating fluid to allow the testes to move freely. Now, excess fluid normally drains away into the veins in your scrotum. But if the balance is altered between the amount of fluid that's made and the amount of fluid that's drained, some fluid can accumulate as a hydrocele. So people often ask, who is it most common in? Well, most hydrocele's occur in adults and they are most common in men aged over 40 years old, but they can occur in children and I'll make a separate video on this at a later date. And in most cases, the exact cause for why a hydrocele forms is not known. So what do hydrocele's look and feel like? Well, a hydrocele feels like a small fluid-filled balloon inside your scrotum. It feels smooth and it's mainly in front of one of your testicles. Now, hydrocele's can vary greatly in size and very large hydrocele's are sometimes seen in elderly men who may have never shown their swelling to a doctor and over time it might have been getting bigger or larger over a number of years. Typically they're painless, but large hydrocele's can cause discomfort because of their size. Walking or having sex might become uncomfortable if you have a very large hydrocele. Now a question that many people want to know is, do you need any tests? Well, if you think you've got a hydrocele, a doctor will examine your testicles. The doctor may also shine a light through your scrotum. Now, if the hydrocele is large and the doctor can't feel your testicle, the fluid might be drained with a needle and syringe. Now, once the fluid is removed, your testes can then be examined more easily. Sometimes your clinician may ask you to have an ultrasound scan, which is also called a jelly scan of your testes. These can check your testes to make sure that there's no underlying cause for the hydrocele. Finally, what are the treatment options that are available to you if you have a hydrocele? So leaving it alone is an option. In adults, if the hydrocele causes no symptoms, one option is just to simply leave it alone. You can use a support like a jock strap to be more comfortable. If it becomes larger or more troublesome, you can always change your mind and have treatment. The second option that we'll broadly talk about is surgery. Now, surgery might be recommended if your hydrocele is large or it's causing you discomfort. Now, the operation for hydrocele involves making a very small cut in the scrotum or the lower tummy. The fluid is then drained from around the testicle. Now, normally the passage between the abdomen and the scrotum will also be sealed off so the fluid can't reform in the future. This is a minor operation and it's performed as a day case, so it doesn't usually involve an overnight stay in the hospital. Hydrocele may return after surgery, but this is usually uncommon. The third option is that fluid can be drained easily with a needle and syringe. However, following this procedure, it is common for the sac of the hydrocele to refill with fluid after a few months. Draining it every now and then might be suitable though if you're not fit for surgery or you don't want an operation, but obviously this kind of procedure comes with risks such as infection. Finally, remember, you should always see your doctor if you notice any lumps, swellings, or changes in your testicles. It's important that you regularly check your testicles to know what's normal for you, and I've included a link in the description section of this video with a guide of how to check your testicles correctly. 